Hey Celestial Gang, it's Celestial Guidance here. Three threes, no ease. If you're new here, hey, what's up? Welcome to Celestial Gang. And if you're a returning viewer, what's good, Celestial Gang? What's good? What's popping? What's going on? Okay, so we're going to do today what your soulmate likes about you. Okay, so we have the Selenite Crystal. And we have the Moon Rock basically I think that's what it's called it's just called the moonstone okay so we have the moonstone and the selenite crystal so choose the one that you feel the most drawn to <laughs> my hands look so weird in this position sorry y'all I'm double jointed but pick the one that you feel drawn to okay Pile A, Pile B. All right, we're gonna get right into it. All right, hey guys, if you picked the Selenite Crystal, this is Pile A, I think I said. I think I said Pile A. You're in the right spot, all right? So we're gonna see what your soulmate likes about you, okay? The song playing right now is Reason by Lakia. So they have a lot of reasons why they like you, okay? So I'm just going to try to get one card at a time from Spirit. Hopefully a lot don't pop out at once. So Spirit, tell us what we need to know. Now we want to hear. Protect us from all the evil eyes. Send it back to the sender tenfold, okay, Spirit? Protect me as I do these messages and thank you for the messages that we're going to receive today okay spirit what does pile A's soulmate like about them spirit what does pile A's soulmate like about them spirit I was about to say, dang, when is a card going to pop out? Okay, so we have Page of Pentacles and Eight of Wands, okay? Taurus and Sagittarius energy. So, with the Page of Pentacles here, what your soulmate likes about you is that you're very giving. You're very sweet, okay? The song foreplay by Shansia is playing okay um <laughs> basically you guys just have to listen to that song i'm not trying to get flagged okay on youtube so definitely look that out look that up but it's part of the page of pentacles basically okay you're a giver and you like to please people specifically your soulmate your soulmate likes that you give to them they like that you're generous with them okay for some of you you may have lent your soulmate money they're thankful for you lending them money others of you you just give your time your patience they really like that about you your heart is just always open like regardless of what you go through your heart is just always pure there's pure intentions behind what you do like if you give something you don't expect something back in return because that's just who you are they like that about you with the eight of wands here all right they like that you know, for some of you, you may do poetry. For some of you, you may be like a singer. For some of you, you're just very expressive with your voice. You're expressive with your heart. You're expressive with everything. Like you, people may refer to you as a, as a chatterbox, okay? I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. Um, like it really depends on how you take it. But I think when your soulmate talks about you, they describe you as a chatterbox in a good way because 
it seems like since you're a giver and you're the one that's always you know chatting i feel like your soulmate is more of a listener so that is what your soulmate likes about you pile a what else does pile a soulmate like about them spirit the devil card yo pressure -less pressure licious is playing by megan the stallion once again i do not want to get flagged okay but definitely look that song up okay she's like i'm pressure licious ah, like when you listen to the lyrics you'll understand that these two cards go hand in hand okay like once again, you're a giver, okay? You may be nasty in the sheets, okay? But on the streets, you're very sweet. Like, on the streets, you're very you're very sweet, okay? Extremely sweet. You're somebody that is just like, you have this innocence to you, okay? But when your soulmate meets up with you and you guys are together, like, you're so intense, something about you is just so intense to them i mean obviously it's a soulmate connection so on top of that and your personality like there is just so much build up within that person okay your soulmate literally sees you as someone that is just for some of y'all they might think like is this person obsessed with me but they're not they don't see that as a bad thing okay because they'd rather have you be obsessed with them than anybody else but your soulmate is like what they like about you is just like the passion that you two have between each other like when you guys are in the sheets together like it's crazy it is so crazy like some of y'all might be like crying they might be crying like lots of noise lots of lots of everything okay like you guys heal each other with sex all right that's what it looks like that's what they like about you pile a what else does pile a soulmate like about them spirit six of pentacles okay oh yeah also this is a capricorn card i don't know if i mentioned that earlier i most likely didn't but yes six of pentacles okay some of you may be caretakers or be in a caretaking field like you know, some of you guys may be like behavioral specialist or a therapist or a doctor, a nurse, um, an RA at school, or you do charity work or you give your clothes away to like thrift shops or you give like other people clothes that just like don't fit anymore too big too small like you're always giving a helping hand you're never not helping someone okay some of you may take care of like a parent instead of having them in a nursing home or maybe some of you guys have parents that like aren't parent material so you're taking care of like your younger siblings like it's something like along those lines or like some of you are a teacher you share knowledge you share money you share wisdom you're someone that is always playing fair and that is what your soulmate likes about you what else does pile a soulmate like about them spirit page of cups okay so you're like an innocent flirter you're an innocent flirter okay people see you like one way like 
some people may think like you know you're like the you look like the page of pentacles on the outside but people expect you to be like this on the inside until they really start to get to know you and you're like the page of cups okay so this is cancer energy here you're someone that is like very intuitive okay you know what people's intentions are and you are someone that goes with the flow you're not someone that just kind of tries to control the situation okay you're someone that just goes with the flow yeah you just have a very sweet personality okay you may have animals too or you work with animals and you're just very nurturing with them you're not aggressive with them What else the tower okay so what your person likes about you is that there's a few things here okay with other people you may kind of you may kind of like get off give off this flirty energy to other people but it's just you being nice and then when someone tries to get in your energy you're just like oh no like i was just being nice and like people feel deceived in a way like your soulmate kind of likes that because it just shows them like you're only interested in them like they like that you're nice they like that you have a good reputation but they also like that you throw other people off another thing is that you're always surprising somebody okay for the most part people fall in love with you like just from conversation like people just fall in love with you like people could just feel the abundance coming off of you and with the tower like you surprise people all the time like anything that you do and people feel like it's out of the ordinary like people are kind of curious like hmm what got them into that or like your style is always changing your hair is always changing um like if you're in school your major or minor is always changing you're interested in multiple different things yeah like you're someone that just keeps them on their toes you keep your soulmate on their toes and in a way they kind of appreciate that because in a way it's sort of like even if your soulmate knows that they have your heart they still feel like it's always a challenge to get to you one more card spirit what does pile a soulmate like about them ah, this is so cute that you're literally in love with them look at this the chains like the sexual connection the chemistry between you guys is just undeniable like you could cut the tension with a knife like anybody that's around you two can feel the tension all right and the lovers like it's like you guys are attached to each other one second and then the next second you're not attached to each other but divine intervention is at play here like your soulmate loves 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 you and they love that you love them back like they could sit down and be naked with you all day like they're so attached to you 
and it's hard for them to to figure out if this is from lust or if this is really from love okay i have some notifications going off as a confirmation and see these both add up to six okay six six like this this is going to be discussed between you two like <laughs> like if you guys tell your soulmate like what you love about them they just love it they just love to hear it they like they're obsessed with you and they love that you're obsessed with them yeah you're confident with your body yeah they really like a whole lot about you to be honest they feel like you're an earth angel and you were made just for them that's what they like about you pile a okay so that's all i have for you pile a like comment and subscribe if you think that there's a message for you in pile b then you could head over to pile b okay see you later celestial gang Hey Celestial Gang, if you picked the Moonstone here, you are in the right spot, okay Pile B? I switched the deck from Pile A, so we're not getting the same energy. And we're going to see what your soulmate likes about you, okay? spirit tell us what we need to know now we want to hear take off all those evil eyes that are on us clear our chakras out spirit and tell us what we need to know now what we want to hear okay what does pile b's soulmate like about them okay the moon card so there's something very mysterious about you okay you're different from other guys or girls okay you're somebody that's just like you don't follow everyone's lead or you're just doing something completely outside of the box okay it's very hard for your soulmate to figure you out but they love it they love it it's like you're multiple different people in one they love it um some of you could be like into crystals and things like that divination tools and they think that's really cool okay some of you guys could be really good swimmers too and they like that because they could really enjoy the water and be connected to the water okay so your soulmate could be a pisces all right because this is a pisces card but they really like that like they really like that you just seem very different it's like how would i tame this person if i wanted to tame this person but it's like you're untamable okay you can't you can't do that to you you're very unique. What else does Pile B's soulmate like about them spirit? Also, it's like when you talk about your passions too, they like how, you know, you have like a higher pitched voice or you get like this twinkle in your eye when you talk about it. Queen of Pentacles, okay? y'all are giving elegant okay straight elegance elegance okay everything you do is like classy if you wear makeup you put on your makeup well like you don't even need to put on makeup it's like everything you do just looks so nice when you do it okay it might be like the way you move your body like the way you sit in your posture is just very straight okay 
your nails could always be done or they're just freshly manicured okay you could have like good cheekbones jawline dimples you um what is it called a cleft chin is that what it's called i think that's the name for it like when you have like a little dimple right here okay you could have one of those and they absolutely love it okay you may be rich or you have a lot of money or you come from a lot of money and it's like you'll you dress for certain occasions okay like if it's a boring day you know you're gonna dress down but you'll still look good dressed down you know and people wouldn't really be able to tell your status but you know if you're going to like a wedding oh you know you're gonna look good okay you're gonna put on your best dress you're gonna put on makeup you're gonna put on the nicest suit you got okay you're gonna look fresh you're gonna have a nice cut like this is just the energy you give off with the queen of pentacles okay so there's taurus energy here your soulmate could also like how your how you interior design like your home so if they've seen your home they like how you decorate your home like you bring heart into the home you bring you are what makes a home a home and that's what your soulmate likes about you three of wands in reverse okay you're not somebody that waits okay so there's aries energy here you're not somebody that waits they like that about you you're somebody that keeps going you don't wait for you know you you don't wait for anybody you don't wait for anything you have to just keep going with your life because you know time is borrowed okay at any point in time we can croak okay we can die and you show that with your actions okay you're never gonna miss an opportunity you're never gonna question your decisions okay whatever you think is best for you you're gonna go and do that okay whether it's with someone or without them because you're you're on borrowed time here okay like we all are like you shouldn't be waiting for me either like you give off very independent energy and your soulmate likes that about you what does pile b's soulmate like about them spirit okay so we have four of swords libra energy we have the strength card all right leo energy so what i'm getting here is what your soulmate likes about you is that you're very humble you are very humble you have a lot to pop off about you have a lot to talk about you have a lot to show you have a lot to like you you're very talented there's a lot to show off okay and you choose what you want to show you will only show certain people things you don't show everybody every part of yourself okay they have to get to know you okay and in order to get to know you they need to have confidence to get to know you pile b okay that is what your soulmate likes about you because they know that you don't let everybody into your energy you're someone that even though you're like always moving okay you're not in one spot like if you're doing something now in three months you'll be doing something else or you'll financially be somewhere else or you'll physically be somewhere else like you're just never in the same spot and it's like every time you're in hermit mode like your soulmate is always wondering like what are they going to be like when they pop out again what are they going to look like when they pop out again, okay? That is what your soulmate likes about you. They like that you're super confident in who you are. They like that they know 
They like that you know who you are. Like your heart is big. And whatever you go through behind closed doors, okay, you're always going to have a big heart. You're not going to let that change who you are because you're confident that you will get to places that people around you will not be able to get to just because of your confidence, okay? And if you have tattoos, okay, that's also another thing that your um, soulmate likes about you. If you wear accessories, your soulmate likes that about you, okay? It could look good on your skin complexion. It could just go very well with your outfits. You know how to put your outfits together. Um, if you own an Apple Watch, your soulmate likes that too because they just assume like you work out with it. So some of you can work out, okay? And that's what your soulmate likes about you because you take care of yourself. All right, if you own an animal like a cat or a dog, your soulmate likes that about you because they could have those pets too or grew up with those pets and it reminds them of home okay it connects them to their inner child it also shows them that you're very nurturing and they like that about you what in the world just flipped over okay i wanted to do seven like the last one but eight is not bad okay eight is not bad so we have the Hermit, Virgo Energy, the Fool card, Libra, Gemini, um, Aquarius Energy, and Two of Swords, more Libra Energy, okay? So Libra is very dominant here today. Libra just wants to take over this entire reading, okay? So your soulmate could be an air placement. So yeah, like with the Hermit, is similar to the Four of Swords. Your soulmate likes that you're able to just stay away from people. Like you don't always need to be surrounded by people to have a good time. Like you're someone that enjoys your own company and they like that about you because you don't have to go searching out for validation you're somebody that just validates yourself and you know how to treat yourself you don't look for other people to try to take care of you with the fool card you're always happy for change okay it doesn't matter what it is you just like change okay like it's like an itch you just can't stay in the same spot you have to keep moving like you know spirit won't gift you with abundance if you don't go out and take the first steps to get it. You're someone that is a risk taker. You may be a spiritualist or you're very religious. Your soulmate also loves sundress season for you. You already know what that means. For girls, it's that gray sweatpants season, all right? That's what your soulmate likes about you, but they really like that you're a risk taker. It doesn't matter what it is, but they know that you're going to put your best foot forward every time you do it. They like when you go through these changes because they get to see you grow into a beautiful masterpiece you also take very good care of your hair they like that about you too they view you as something that's expensive all right megan the stallion diamonds is playing okay and it's like diamonds are a girl's best friend okay they view you as a diamond and i also think being a taurus 
I think their gemstone is like a diamond like so that's also very significant for you as well okay but yeah you're always ready for new beginnings like if there's a bridge no one has to tell you to jump you're just gonna jump and then people are gonna look at you and follow okay your soulmate likes that about you you're a leader they like that of swords here okay they for some of you you may be indecisive at times and your soulmate thinks it's a very cute quirk because did i say that right quirk quirk q u i r c k like quirk like yeah i think that's how you say it it just sounds weird um but they like that okay they think it's very cute because they get to help make you they they get to help with the decision you want to make okay they, it helps them feel needed they like to feel needed by you so that's what i'm getting for this pile pile b okay let me see if I see anything else. They also like that you have a complex mind, okay? You have a very complex mind and they enjoy talking to you because they can really see like who you are as a person, all right? This is more mental than physical, but the physical is a plus okay so now that is it for you pile b all right all right celestial gang that is the rest of the video i hope you enjoyed it sorry i had to redo my outro because it was not given what it was supposed to give okay so if you like this video give it a thumbs up okay share the video if you want and yeah like if you'd like to make a donation to this channel Everything you need to know is in my link tree down below from my other social media sites if you'd like to see more content and if you'd like a personal reading from me, you could see everything from my email to my tarot menu down in the link tree below. Okay, see you guys!